Hello! Welcome back to another XSI2 Houdini tutorial. So in this video I'm going to talk about SOP solvers. So I have this set up in XSI, you can look at, and it's I'm emitting these points on this grid. I'm adding to their size on every frame, and when they come to a certain size, I delete them. And it looks something like this. So they come to a certain size, and now they're popping away. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Houdini. So the first thing I want to do is I want to emit some points. So I'm going to drop down a scatter, like so. I want to do one point every frame. And then I'm going to use the frame value to uh, change the seed. So I get the points moving around. And now you can see if I play, the point is moving around. And then I'm going to drop down a copy up. I'm going to make a sphere, polygon. And here I have spheres on every frame. And I'm also going to do another thing to make it go faster. I'm going to go to stamp and I'm going to do pack geometry before copying. Pack primitive is basically instancing, but you can also unpack it and do things with geometry later. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to drop down this solver node. And the solver node is a dop sim that SideFX has wrapped for you. As you know, uh, the sub context is more like the modeling stack, and the dop sim is more like the simulation context. But like a lot of times, you just need to accumulate a value or something. And just you just need to remember what's happened on the previous frame. So side effects wrap this dop sim in this solver node. So if we go in here, you can see it's a very simple thing. You have these inputs, and you have this previous frame, and all these inputs are of course the inputs here. Uh, and these are updated on every frame and whatever you do in this node on the previous frame you can read back from this node so first of all how am I gonna add the points and the easiest way of doing that because I get the new points on every frame so I want to get the new point and I want the previous point so I'm just gonna merge them together and it's actually adding a point on every frame and then I'm going to drop down an attribute pop. I would probably have done this in a wrangle, but because this is an XI to Houdini tutorial, I, I find that this is more suitable. Uh, so the first I'm going to do is drop down a uh, bind. And bind is like get data in XSI. So then I'm going to get P scale. And P scale is what a copy sop can use for scale. Or I guess it's more like a size because it's a float and not a vector. Uh, and then I'm gonna drop down uh, an add. So I'm gonna drop down this add here. And I'm gonna drop down a constant. And now I'm gonna, so I'm gonna add on a frame, I'm gonna add 0 0.1 size. And to set the data again, I'm gonna use a bind export. So now let's see if I go here and do P scale here too. And go from the beginning and play. And now you can see we indeed have an accumulated size. The only thing I need to do now is check if they go over a certain size. And then I'm going to delete them. What I can do then is uh, drop down a compare. Compare. And I'm going to compare the P scale with this values. I gotta see if it's greater than 0 0.5. That is my kill size. And then I'm gonna drop down a two-way switch. And a two-way switch is the same thing as an if node in XSI. Uh, and then I'm gonna drop down and remove point. You can see here, remove point, you have this ptnum, the point number. What I can do is that I can take the point number add that into input 1. So if it's greater than 0 0.5, then it's going to deliver this point number. Otherwise, I'm going to use minus 1. If it receives minus 1, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to put minus 1 here, like so. And voila, look at this. So now they're growing to 0 0.5, and then they are disappearing. And that is all. So I hope that you found this useful, and uh, see you next time.